Welcome back, everyone, to another DICON dissectional production hosted by Deathstroke9. Today, we're going to be reacting to The Doors, L.A. Woman. Welcome back, everybody. All right, so I would like to put a big disclaimer at the beginning of this video. I've heard one song by The Doors before reacting to any of this, so I have heard The Doors before. I heard Riders on the Storm, all right? I have heard that song. Um... If you still want me to do a, like a lyrical dissection of it, which I've never done before, I've really ne I don't know if I've ever like really listened to it either. I know I've heard it at least once, maybe even twice. But let me know if you want me to react to that anyway, because I was going to do that, but then I started listening to it and I was like, yeah, I've heard this before. So got off of that. We're on to LA Woman. All right, this was requested by quite a few people. Said the Doors, and yeah, I'm I'm excited to get into this. So before we start. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Daniel, otherwise D aka Deathstroke9, and on this channel we would like to listen to music, and I try to figure out what the lyrics and the music mean to me. I dissect the, the music and the lyrics, um, which I hope makes my channel a little bit unique compared to most other reaction channels. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content, uh, consider subscribing, and... Yeah, so I pulled up the lyrics, and it was weird. Google didn't have the lyrics anywhere, so I had to find it on a website called Song Facts, which has little ads on the side, which is annoying and is glitchy, but whatever. And I've got the, uh, the official audio for it. So yeah, we're going to check this out. Okay, let's do this. The Doors, L.A. Woman. So before we start, let me just mention L.A. Woman. So a woman from Los Angeles, I would assume. But I have heard that The Doors are very uh, odd band, odd, odd group. So let's see what we've got here. Three, two, one, The Doors. <laughs> One thing I, that's standing out to me is how his words go, like the the guitar copies him. So he says, L.A. woman, you know, and that's interesting. And it's been doing that like the whole song. So, first of all, musically, I love it. Um, his voice, so when was this recorded? Just wondering. Is it sounds older? 
1971. Okay. The beginning of the 70s. It had a lot of people on this. Let's see. Yeah, there is a piano. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, that piano in the background was very... Definitely added something. I really liked it. All right. Um, the guitar and the bass are incredible. And let's see what he says. Well, I just got into town about an hour ago. Took a look around to see which way the wind blow. Or, you know, trying to see. So, which way is the ball bouncing? You know, what... Uh, what are some is there any opportunities out here where are the little girls in their Hollywood bungalows are you are you a lucky little lady in the city of light or just another lost angel city and night city and night city and night city and night He's talking about like a prostitute or something uh what um hmm LA woman he's gonna say that all right so so far says he got he gets into town and is looking to see if he it's either him trying to take advantage of someone else or looking for someone else to maybe just have a good time with i don't know um hmm. interesting um reminding me a little bit of hey 19 by steely dan and here's something I want to mention. Obviously, I don't know if everyone who saw that video is going to see this video, but I want to address something that I said in that video where I was talking about why I thought it was an, a very interesting song. And a lot of people were like, the people who wrote it were not talking about themselves. I understand that. I'd never said that I thought the members of Steely Dan were 40-year-old men trying to you know, uh, uh, go out and find younger women or anything like that. So I, I never said that, and I would never say something like that. Obviously, the song is about fictional characters in a fictional world. But anyway, I digress. Moving on. Um, so far, it just sounds like a guy going into town to look for a girl, pretty much. Let's see if uh, if it changes or what. So far, music's great. Um, his... His voice is good too, and yeah, it's the doors. They're literal doors. I want this this uh, cover art to literally be three men that are doors. Let's continue. Three, two, one. I see your hair is burning. Hills are filled with fire. If they say I never loved you, you know you are, they are a liar. 
Driving down your freeways, midnight alleys roam, cops and cars, the topless bars. Never saw a woman so alone, so alone, so alone, so alone. Um... What? Okay, I see your hair is burning. The hills are filled with fire. That kind of just makes me think, sun. No, your you've got like a blonde, blonde. You're blonde, and your hair is almost glowing, and the hills are filled with the you know the shining radiance of the sun. I don't necessarily think he actually means he set someone's hair on fire and is committing arson and burning a city down. But who knows? If they say I never loved you, you know they are a liar. That sounds like he took advantage of someone and then kind of left them. Driving down your freeways, midnight alleys roam. Cops and cars, topless bars, never saw a woman so alone. So that's just, we're down in the midnight alleys. We see the cops, we see bars. Just kind of setting up a, uh, a scene, I guess you could say. Setting a tone. So alone, so alone, so alone, so alone. Oh my goodness, there's a lot... Huh. Mo let's let's keep going. Motel money murder madness. Let's change the mood from glad to sadness. Mr. Mojo rising. Mr. Mojo rising. Got to keep on rising. Rising, 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 rising over and over and over again. Let's look that up if we can. Oh, a woman, the Doors lyrics. Let's just start with that. What does Mr. Mojo Rising mean? Okay, the song is the title track of their 1971 album, L.A. Woman, the finer album to feature Jim Morrison before his death. In the song's bridge, Morrison repeats the phrase, Mr. Mojo Rising which is an anagram of his name, Jim Morrison. Okay, that's pretty cool. So he's just repeating his name over and over again. Uh, what does Ryzen mean? What? Okay, that's not gonna look at that. Um, very interesting. So Jim Morrison literally just kind of hides in the song an anagram for his own name, which he repeats over and over and over again. Cool. I had no idea. Let's keep going. Uh, I would never have guessed that. Um, okay, let's just keep going. Three, two, one. Continuing the doors. So hello. Sounds like he's robbing a bank or something. The chain of moving sad to sadness. Change the mood from glad to sadness. Oh, here's that mood change we were talking about.
gotta pause it. Just gonna bring it back, and we're gonna finish this sucker off. Great. That was awesome. That build up, and then that solo. Beautiful. Loved it. He said, we're going to change the mood from glad to sadness, or from joy to sadness, whatever it is he said. But then it went back. It went sad for a second. Then it quickly moved back into, into happiness. Well, not necessarily happiness, but very frantic, almost. Let's keep going. Three, two, one. I think this is just a repeat of the music. Okay then. Okay. Um, is this literally just about a guy going to the city and meeting a girl, having like a day out with them, and then being done? That's kind of what I got out of it. Let me know if there's anything more to it. Because it does get... It sounds a little darker. In there, it sounds like he throws in. So he says, like, Motel Money Murder Madness. It sounds like a video. Motel Money Murder Madness, man. You want to play some of that? It sounds like an arcade game. Um, uh, let me think. So, there's that line... The whole Mr. Mojo Rising thing, which is his name repeated over and over again. That's interesting. Um, what's the other thing? Oh, I apologize if there's any noises coming from up there. Um, then there was another. Oh, yeah, the, the hills are burning and your hair is burning. What? Um, hmm. I'm not entirely sure what to make of those, but other than that, it sounds pretty fairly straightforward, right? And then with that anagram thing just kind of being attacked on little, look at me, we're, we're cool with our symbolism thing, which is awesome, you know, very cool. Um, yeah, I should do that sometime. If I ever publish a book and there's a character, and there'll probably be a character with an anagram for my name in it, just, just you wait. All right, um, thank you for watching. Uh, that's my final interpretation, I guess. Let me know what you think the song's about. Maybe what The Doors meant it to be about. Uh, you know, what other songs you'd like me to react to? All down in the comments. And if you want to make positively certain that your reaction requests get, you know, completed, um, there's a Patreon link in the description where you can support me, you can get exclusive videos, and you any of your requests get answered. So... Um, jump on the bandwagon now while there's still not that many people in there and while I still have I'm pretty much doing anything they ask me to do um, yeah thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed the content consider subscribing Deathstroke 9 out see you soon